on everyone welcome back to Pick packs my name is Cruz and today we're gonna be opening up the single strike battle style Japanese set I think I've got like about I've got a booster box of these I don't know how many I'm gonna open up just yet maybe 15 20 depending on how long it takes uh, I think this set is pretty much gonna be the new meta maybe maybe not I'm not sure we're gonna have to wait and see uh, if you guys like this video don't forget to give this video a like subscribe if you want to see more of this uh, let's get it so here we go single strike if it's not single strike this is rapid strike so i don't know if i'm saying it right or wrong i believe this is gonna be the new meta if it's not then i'm wrong and i lied to all of you and the card trick is one this set here i don't i honestly i don't really know much about it so as i go through it my pokemon are gonna de-evolve uh as i go through it i'll find out with you guys e ichi kiki Ichigiki. I don't know if I said it right. Ichigachi. Uh -huh. huh? Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think the one that everyone's gonna want is obviously Urshifu. There's a red VMAX of them. There's two VMAX Urshifus. I think the alternate art one is the one you want. Or I don't even know if it's an, like a completely different card. Did I do the card trick wrong? Did I do it wrong? Let's see. The prayer? It's an intake. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to put him right there. I'm going to start showing some respect to the rare hollows. Because I don't do that no more. I used to. Now I don't. Let's see. If you, for some reason, towards the end of this video, you see this stack get bigger, that means I decided to add a few more packs to this. Because I was really undecided on whether I was going to open up half of the booster box more than half because was that five cards was that five cards was this rigged okay i guess i i threw i did throw a card away uh oh there it is it's a minky he was in there um yeah because i was thinking about saving a few packs for future videos and also for, for, let's back open, because the price goes up. Prices go up a lot on all these cards. Uh, I was, and I still may be opening up the, the, God, I already forgot the name. The other box, the blue box. Rapids, right? I forgot, I'll remember at some point. But the blue box, I did plan on opening. But I opened, I ordered this box a day before. And then the next day I wanted to order the blue one. Because I was like, I should. I, sh I should have opened both of them. And next thing you know, it went up like $10 in price. And this one also went up in price. Not as much. So I'm starting to think that the Urshifu or the cards that come in the blue one are way better than, or semi better than these here. We got Corco. I almost forgot his name. Is an almost, I mean I did. I like the Zubat here, it's pretty cool. Spupa, the rare? Okay. Is, uh, who is this guy? Who is this guy? I cannot believe I don't remember his name. I know he's Gen 1, Gen 2. His name is something. And if he's not Gen 1, Gen 2, then I'm thinking of the wrong guy. Why are these packs so hard to open? Oh, it's time to cut the nails. Struggling. I got it, I got it, I got it. That hasn't happened in a while. Forgive me. And if you don't forgive me, let me know you didn't forgive me. There we go. I'm hoping for something big. At least one. At least one big good card. We got Spiro, Electabuzz, D evolved again, Hound Dower, the rare is a Flapple, Flapple V, Flapple, I, I'm not that excited about Flapple, I don't think he's going to be that good, but I'll go ahead and read him for you, uh, Flapple, 190 HP, uh, attack number one, one energy does 20 damage, attack number three does 120 damage, and there you go, that's what he does, here we go, <laughs> Next card. Next card. I got an itch. Next pack. Next pack is something. Alright. If 
you guys, for some reason, I put a pre-order of Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. Please let me know how you did it. Please let me know if you even got it at retail price. Because it's crazy out there. Those boxes are uh, colossal. Are uh, ridiculous in price. And from what I hear, they're going to be extremely hard to find. Because people want them. Where I live, I went to my local GameStop. And I asked if they were going to have any. The guy doubts he's going to have any extras. And then I asked him, what about the local the local Target or Walmart or something like that? And he told me that there's a group of people in said community that uh, go out and wait outside of Target or outside of the mall, wherever it may be, just to get everything before anyone else does. So that's going to be a problem. And that day... I may be working, so I'm not gonna be able to go. So I'm gonna have to hope that one day I just go to the store and there they are. If not, then then I'll, I'll buy the box for the price that it's on on Amazon. The rare is uh, Crowback. Did I throw away another card? No, I did not. Okay, that threw me off. I need to start paying attention to the packs. Here we go. Next one. Still haven't gotten anything good. I feel like I may have to open up a few of these packs. And even if I don't open up those packs now, they will be opened, opened up later on in the future. Because, because I may not want them to be sealed forever. And the rare is, uh, <laughs> I can't think of her name. But I know she's part of the Elite Four on Gen 3. And she's my favorite one because she gives me the least hardest time. Because <laughs> all I would do is uh, teach Kyogre Waterfall and do that for everybody. And there we go. On to the next one. Sadly, couldn't do that for the next Elite Four member. The rare is coming up right here. It's a Choppy Coco V. Okay. 210 HP. One energy does 40 damage. Three energies does 20 damage plus. So I'm assuming you discard energies or something like that. Or for every energy that is an electric energy attached to one, you do an extra 50 damage. That's what it does. That's what it does. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We've got three packs left after this one. Let's see. Let's see. So, the sleeves that I'm using in this video are Champions Path sleeves. Because I'm running out of my regular ones, my clear ones. And my clear ones, was that the rare? I believe that was the rare. That was the rare. Yep. These packs are disappointing. I'm not even counting them. I need to make sure I count. Okay, so if for some reason you think the camera's in a different position, it is. Because I knocked it over. It wasn't intentional. This video is horrible. I need to make sure I count these cards because they may have been resealed. I don't even know. This energy here. One, two, three, four, and the last one is uh I can't even think of I'm not even gonna try anymore. I'm not a bug guy, sadly more of a more of a water guy I'm more of a water boy we'll go Trumpa I know that one Durant Morpico angry mode Esper the rare is <laughs> what a no I think this one is Appleton Appleton VMAX 320 damage he's a grass type uh, three energies does 250 damage. I'm guessing that's a minus sign. He does less for something. I don't know what. He does less if he's attacking one of his own. There. That's what he does right there. But, honestly, this card actually looks pretty cool. I like it. I wonder why he's so mad. There we go. 
that card was cool. Here we go. Last pack, maybe. Last pack, I honestly think it is. Here we go. I believe later on this week I'll open up Champions Path again. I've got eight more packs, and then Monday we'll be back with uh, with the challenge. I'll have my brother Herman help me out with that. And then the rare is this old guy. And then I'll let you know the outro. All right, guys. So it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, opening went pretty good. I, I honestly think it went a lot better than I expected it to. Uh, later on this week it'll be Champions Path. Next week, it'll be the challenge, and then Friday, Friday, possibly Thursday, it'll be uh, Shining Fates. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell, because I never say that, and I'll see you on the next one.